Lock them up and throw away the key. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon characters that should be in prison. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Protagonist or antagonist alike, breaking the law in the cartoon world seems to get a free pass. Although mostly exaggerated, most animated brushes with justice lead to inconsequential repercussions. Yet, for this list, we can think of a few ne'er-do-wells that most definitely belong in prison, or at least the back of a police car. For fairness sake, we will not be including supervillains on this list, as they deserve a list of their own. It is on that day that Jojo became murder. Number 10, Roger, American Dad. Ow, ow. Oh, my running regimen is killing my lower back. Ah, oh, I gotta lie down. Ah! You guys can get up now, it's definitely over! He may be under the protection of Stan Smith, but that doesn't stop Roger from scheming up a storm with various false alter egos. Once outside the Smith household, Roger finds himself waist deep in what would surely be identity theft and fraud charges in the real world. Word on the street is you're horning in on my business. Yeah, well, word on the street is your product sucks. Yeah, well, word on the street is I don't have a comeback for that, but what I do have are these brawny sidemen. The irony is not lost on the writers of American Dad, either, considering that most of Roger's deceptive identities are either in jail or wanted for a wide range of crimes such as drug trafficking, abuse, and possibly even serial murder. With even an entire floor of the CIA dedicated to finding and capturing him, it's safe to say that Roger indeed deserves to go down for his dastardly deeds. You're really gonna kill five people over $20? Are you really asking that to the guy who just last week killed six people over $19? Number nine, Lil Gideon Gleeful, Gravity Falls. The entire Pines family have invoked my fury. You will all pay recompense for your transgressions. At first taking on the appearance of a traveling child psychic, the pig-nosed and conniving little Gideon soon proves himself to be quite the villainous mastermind. The only way Gideon's taken over this shack is by breaking in and stealing my deed. You mean like right now? Uh, 38? 41? Oh, heavens to Betsy. On top of commercial sabotage on Grunkle Stan's mystery shack, Gideon's criminal record proves to be quite extensive, with attempted murder charges as well as overt fraud. However, the biggest crime in Gideon's file would have to be when he summoned the mind demon Bill Cipher into Gravity Falls, allowing for Cipher's eventual near destruction of the universe. I'll help you with this, and in return, you can help me with something I've been working on. We'll work out the details later. Deal. We're not even sure how to classify that one. Number eight, Vicky, the Fairly Odd Parents. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. It's me, Vicky. There are some babysitters that you just shouldn't leave your kids at home with. Such is the case with the Turner family when they hire Vicky, the sadistic, midriff-bearing 16-year-old. Although she would be tried as a minor, Vicky's track record is less than clean, exposing poor Timmy to various weapons and acts of cruelty that should have had Mr. and Mrs. Turner scrambling for a nanny cam. <laughs> Yet, Vicky's incredible ability to act pleasant around adults makes her an unsuspected predator once she's alone with children. I'll take care of the little darling like he was my own cash and blood. Have fun at the movies. Bye! All right, twerp. Time for bed. Pretty much the reason for Timmy's need for his fairy godparents, Vicky's psychological abuse could very well lead to a dangerous future for Timmy. Number 7, Mr. Krabs, SpongeBob SquarePants. He may have the citizens of Bikini Bottom scrambling to his restaurant for Krabby Patties, but Eugene H. Krabs' mistreatment of his own employees would get him in serious hot water with any respectable labor board. With working conditions bordering on slavery, Mr. Krabs' stingy business model is downright illegal. I'm going on my lunch break, Mr. Krabs. You got five minutes. Wow! One more minute than yesterday! In a more major turn of events, the shrewd restaurateur has also poisoned his loyal customers with tainted food and caused the near genocide of Bikini Bottom's jellyfish population, all in the name of turning a profit. What kind of monster is responsible for this horror? That's it, boys! Keep that gelatinous gold a-flowing! He also famously plotted the murder of Health Inspector Yellowtail, using SpongeBob as an accomplice. Look at him choke! Ah! <laughs> Look at him 
suffer. <laughs> Number six, Homer Simpson, The Simpsons. Hey, you did not pay for that beer. <laughs> Let's just say that if there were an award for the world's greatest dad, Homer Simpson would not even be in the running for a shot at the title. With instances of child abuse, especially in his routine strangling of Bart in public and in private, drunk driving, and negligence at a dangerous nuclear power station, Homer Simpson probably should be thrown in jail every so often for intense rehabilitation. I'm in no condition to drive, boy. Wait! I should have listened to myself! I'm drunk! Not the only Springfieldian to dabble in petty crime, Another potential candidate could be the evil tycoon C. Montgomery Burns, who's done everything from racketeering to enslaving a missing Brazilian soccer team for free labor. We found a missing Brazilian soccer team working in your reactor core. That plane crashed on my property. Number five, Sterling Archer. Archer. Lana, you and I, more me, were two of the best secret agents in the world. We were rogues. Potato patrizan, whatever. He may be the world's deadliest spy, but the seriously amoral and selfish Sterling Archer should definitely be under the eye of the law. One of them doesn't have any skin on his face. Meaning what? Meaning I set one of them on fire. Was that before or after you got caught fondling a teenager? Pretty much a visual stand-in for shady intelligence operatives of the 20th century, Archer's lavish lifestyle is that of someone who truly believes he's above the rules. Seeing that he's orchestrated various shady operations with his covert agency, Ranging from drug trafficking to orchestrating a coup in Central America, Archer's body count alone should require some heavy investigation. We're wondering what other crazy shenanigans Archer will get mixed up into in future seasons. Since the government has unjustly accused us of treason, we are now forced to transfer those skills from espionage to criminal activity. Kind of like the A-Team, but we sell drugs. Number 4. Eric Cartman, South Park With a borderline sociopathic disorder, Eric Cartman has committed more crimes before the age of 13 than most career criminals accomplish in a lifetime. Cartman's biggest offenses can be chalked up to disturbing the peace in forms of prejudice and hateful rallies, as well as the kidnapping and attempted murder of non-gingers. Oh Jesus, I should have known! When we begin here, we will take worldwide until the blood of every non-ginger child has been spilled! But Cartman's most disturbing offense is definitely the murder by proxy of local bully Scott Tennerman's parents. While he didn't pull the trigger himself, Cartman did go the extra sadistic mile by having the victim's bodies ground up and cooked into chili, which was eventually fed to an unsuspecting Tennerman. I made you eat your parents. Jesus Christ, dude! My mom and dad are dead! No! No! He also purposefully infected Kyle with AIDS out of spite. You think HIV is something to be laughed at, Kyle? Well, let's just see how funny it is now, asshole. Bone chilling indeed. Number three, Peter Griffin, Family Guy. Joe, you're drunk, okay? You're drunk. Give me your keys. And, and I'm drunk, so I'll give you my keys. Okay, now we're both good to drive home. He may just be a normal man living his life in Quahog, but Peter Griffin has racked up a laundry list of crimes both petty and major. His outright emotional abuse of his daughter Meg, as well as his constant public intoxication, and sometimes drug use, could have him sent away to the big house for a few years at least. Tell you what, I'll get us started. Ah, <sighs> that feels... that feels better. On a much larger scale, Peter has also committed sexual harassment, robbing a bank, and blowing up a children's hospital. Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Much like his evil infant son, Stewie, who also has a mile-long criminal track record, the oafish Peter Griffin should definitely be considered public enemy number one. This is a robbery! Everybody get on the ground! If this bitch moves, shoot him in the eye! Number two, Rick Sanchez, Rick and Morty. Whatever the crime, this guy has probably done it all. Mad scientist and functioning alcoholic Rick Sanchez has the dubious honor of committing heinous crimes in not just one, but an infinite number of existential planes, leading to the destruction of entire universes and species. Even responsible for killing versions of himself, Rick's carefree attitude makes him a remorseless super criminal. Although he technically was put away for his various offenses, this turned out to be a ploy to steal his portal gun formula, meaning that the tragic anti-hero of Rick and Morty has never truly answered for his disturbing crimes. Yeah, what are you in for? 
everything. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. Catch you the eat? Do not touch. Nope. Do you still work at the radio station? <laughs> I wouldn't call it work, but they pay me a lot of money. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh no, not another elderly woman flying down the street. Number one, Glenn Quagmire, Family Guy. I got a package for you too. All right. Nice try, but I built up an immunity. It doesn't really need to be said, but there's something overtly wrong about being a proud predator. No stranger to terrifying acts of depravity, Glenn Quagmire fits the bill for being one of the worst offenders to get away with his crimes. Dear Diary, Jackpot. Committing almost every disgusting crime under the sun, Quagmire wouldn't stand a chance staying clear of the courts in the post Harvey Weinstein hashtag MeToo world of today. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. On top of all that, Family Guy creators turned Quagmire into a horrific sadist in a tasteless parody that had the deviant murder the entire Simpsons family, including infant Maggie. Oh no! Who will pay for my saxophone lessons? <laughs> Let's just say it's high time for Quagmire to giggity giggity go down. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.